How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we're taking a look at the World Tournament LR Pilaf, Shu, and Mai, the LR Pilaf trio. Really been looking forward to this, they are the newest World Tournament LR reward. And we're going to go ahead and take them uh, a look at 55% level 1 links and tell you whether or not they were worth that crazy World Tournament grind. So Sorry we're a little bit late on this, we had a lot of things coming up with new reveals and whatnot, but we are back on that grind and ready to do this. So let's take a look at what these guys are doing. They activate an entrance animation upon the character's entry turn once only, they change Fizz to AGL, Tech, or SCR key spheres for 5 turns from the character's entry turn. So a little bit of random changing there. They got attack defense 120% and an additional attack defense 40% when performing super attack. They have an additional attack defense 40% if it is an ultra super attack. They have an additional key 1 per key sphere obtained um, and an additional attack defense 70% and launch an additional attack that has a 50% chance to become a super attack with an AGL key sphere obtained. They also have an additional defense 100% with a high chance of evading enemies attack with a tech key sphere obtained. They also have an additional attack 100% and high chance of performing a critical hit and seals the enemy's attack, uh, super attack with an STR key sphere obtained. They launch an additional super attack with 7 or more key spheres obtained and they change int key spheres to AGL tech or STR key spheres when there's an enemy who includes Goku. So. Very, very interesting here for the choices. Basically, depending on what orbs you pick up, they're going to be, you know, varying levels of either defensive, offensive, or tech, right? If we grab AGL key spheres, then we're going to be more defensive. If we grab tech key spheres, we're going to be more offensive. If we grab STR uh, key spheres, then we become a sealer, right? So it's really going to be depending on what we want to do. Obviously, you know, in most cases, we're probably going to avoid the STR key spheres um, because you can't really seal them, right, uh, in some of these harder fights. So we're going to run him on DB Saga. It's basically one of his only 200% teams. And we're going to link him with LR Bulma. Their only other options are Jackie Chun or, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think just Jackie Chun and, oh, Demon King Piccolo is another good option. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, um, so instead of running an extra link, uh, what we're going to do is just run like, yeah, actually, maybe we'll just swap off B-Pan. Uh, we'll swap in LR Jackie Chun, um, for the purposes of this just to give that extra link i mean I, I i don't think we're gonna see too much craziness even adding the attack for b pan so all right let's go ahead and do this let's hop on right. in let's do this all right and of course par for the course slot seven starting unit here so i mean it is, it is almost always happens the good thing is they don't need too much crazy build Should be around here. All right, the nice thing is we don't have to move too many people around here because we already have Bulma opening on this rotation here. Um, let's see here. All right, let's try that. Let's grab that. Perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to keep the Tech Gohan on for the extra support that we can move him into the third slot on the next turn. Uh, that way he gets that... He can give that 50% support, because he does support AGL types. That's the main reason we're pulling him on. But also so he can have a little extra defense. Um, we'll, we'll be getting the same amount of support regardless. There we go. This just kind of provides him that little extra uh, defensive as we will be floating him off. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Surprised Goku didn't kill there. Okay. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and float off Jackie Chun here. Let's grab that. Grab that with Goku. And there we go. Perfect. So, Aider's... Good. Wow, really? He needed to get hit. That was the only thing he needed to do to get his defensive buff, and that didn't happen. Okay. Alright. Well, that was quick. We got our setup. And here goes that entrance animation. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That's cool. Okay, I like it. Okay, sweet. Alright, so how are we looking? Three links here. Ooh, we actually got a few links there. Alright, so... Let's grab this with Bulma. Alright, so... Let's see here. Uh, remember the key spheres we get if we look at them. So we have two options here. We can go for the STR, the AGL, or the Ant. Now we don't get anything for the Ant, so we're going to take the AGL, which are going to make us more defensive and give us some... Um... Okay, let's do it. All right, so how's our defense looking? So 240K, uh, I mean, I guess that's not too bad for a free-to-play unit, um, but let's take a look at that super attack effect. So super attack effect, they're not getting any defense on super, so I would say you'd probably want to prioritize the text key sphere. So maybe next turn we might get a little luckier with the key spheres and we'll get some tech. Oh, actually, no, 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 it's AGL that gives us the defense, so that's that's about the best that we're going to get. Oh, wow, but 7 million on the attack. I wonder what it'll look Okay, well, we will try for the tech next turn, because I want to see what that attack stat's going to look like with that extra. Because that's honestly not too bad for a free-to-play unit. 7 million there. And, and remember, this is 55%. Wow, look at those extra attacks. Okay. All right, that's not bad at all. That's right, he can absorb Key Blast Supers. Forgot about that. All right, so we're going to try to actually land the hit with uh, Aider here this time. Oh, wow, I think that's the first time I've ever gotten both Kid Gokus on the same turn. That almost never happens. There we go. All right. Now aider has got his defensive buff. Wow, really? All right. Well, okay. Kid Goku's going to finish up then. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so four links this time. We'll have legendary power on super attack. Okay, so again with the key spheres, right? So STR just gives us, it doesn't give us anything. It just gives us critical hit and ceiling. And then... Defense on tech. Or no, 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 no. I keep, why do I keep messing that up? Okay, the additional attack and defense launches with a high chance becomes... Okay, no, 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 yeah, it is defense on tech. And it's attack and defense 70% with AGL. Okay. I, all right, I, I got this. So let's grab this with Bulma. All right, let's try the STR now. Okay. Okay, so a lot less defense, but let's see here. All right, we do have Bulma support, right? We did get her seven keys here, so we get a little extra here.
Nice. We proc the three supers out of Bulma. Great. That's a 7.8. So almost no difference between the STR and the AGL pickup. We do get the additional uh, super attack. Nice, we get another additional super attack. I do love their animations. They are really nice. Alright, so post triple super, it's enough to tank double digits here. How about a super? Oh, here we go. We're gonna find out. Ooh, okay, that's a bit scary. Okay, I want to try to get tech key spheres and see what our stats are looking like there. There we go. Alright, I'm pretty sure between the three units here, we ought to be able to finish Otoshianas here. Goku getting a triple super, if not by him, then by the time we get to Gohan, we should be able to knock her out here. Oh, okay. Of course, it's the normal when we could have just finished with the super attack and be done with this. Alrighty. Again, we are just not getting the key spheres we need. Alright, let's grab that. Alright, let's grab the AGL then. We'll keep up with that. Okay, so it doesn't look to be too much of a significant difference between grabbing the STR or grabbing the AGL key spheres. But now this time we will have support from the Kid Goku. Although that turn earlier that we did that, we had support from the Gohan. So I feel like we're going to see similar uh, numbers there. Okay, 8.3 this time. Not bad. This is with the AGL setup and the Kid Goku support. Alright, wow, we did not get those extra supers this time. But we are still enough to tank here. Very nice. Now, if we can get lucky here, it'd be nice and we can have Kid Goku just finish things up. There we go, get an additional super with Kid Goku. Give us that crit and let's wrap this up. Oh, not quite. Okay. That's fine. I mean, this is actually working out the way this is set up because they can kind of just clean up and then we can have, right, the, the next starting rotation against the bosses. There we go, we're getting seven. We have pretty much consistently got the buff with Goku almost this entire fight. That's almost never happened for me. Usually I always miss once or twice. Alright, nice. Good job, Aider. Oh, okay. We are not getting those tech keys for us this time. Alright, let's grab that. Oh, here we go. It's only... We only need one AGL sphere, right? We just change them five turns. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So we're past the changing, um... Key spheres piece. Alright, and nothing changes after this. So it just... We won't be changing the orbs anymore. Alright, I guess we're gonna... We'll take that then. And then let's grab that.
Who? Of course he dodges that. Oh uh, well, wow, double dodge there. Okay. 7.4 again this turn. This is with the support from the Gohan, the support from the Bulma, and AGL keys fierce obtain. No critical hit. And no extra super. Okay, I mean, it's not terrible. This is a free to play unit, mind you. They're honestly not that bad. I mean, I'm not going to be expecting them to tank Fusion's Moss or Omega or anything, but there's definitely some fun to be had here. Alright, let's grab that. There we go. We get that with this Kid Goku. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I knew there was going to be one turn where this happened, where we weren't going to be able to get both. We were too lucky earlier. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this hit with Hachan. I doubt even his Dokkan attack can kill, though. Grab one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Maybe it can. I, nah, I don't think so. He has, like, no attack. Yeah. Not, like, half, halfway. Alright, so we're going to have to rely on our Kid Gokus, but, I mean, this dude is dodging like crazy. What's going on here? And I'm realizing now, once again, we have forgotten to bring a Sensu Bean in case Ice Shenron decides to lock us. There we go, nice. Alrighty. Let's grab that. Let's try the STR again. I just want to see those stats one more time. Okay, I mean, honestly, not that bad. So, hovering around 240k pre-super. Obviously, AoEs are going to hurt him a lot with that level of defense. But, um, you know, post-super, he seems to be doing alright here. Alright, he'll tank normals, it's seeming like. I think where his issue is going to arise is obviously taking a super... Alrighty, there we go. That gets us through here. Okay, well, at least we can somewhat work with this if we change... Yes, we can. Perfect. Alright, so let's grab that with the Kid Goku. Grab that with the Aider. Let's grab that with Gohan. Alright, we get an additional normal with Goku. There we go, there's that super. Alright, you gotta love it when Kid Goku tanks. He, he blocked them both twice. Okay. All right, so let's do this number. We'll put him in slot one. All right, so how are we looking here? All right, so a little bit less here. Let's go ahead and let's use Bulma's active. So now we can grab this. Oh man, that messed us up. Alright, so we won't get the Kid Goku support this turn. But, I mean, we pretty much know where we're at. So a lot better, a little extra support from the Bulma this turn, right? But we do get the support for 
the kid Goku. We just don't get his damage reduction support. No extra super on that one, unfortunately. There we go. Bulma finishes up. All right. So, there you have it, folks. There is the LR Pilaf Trio Showcase. Honestly, I mean, for a free-to-play unit, it's not that bad. I've seen a lot worse coming from free-to-play LRs. Um, I mean, just free-to-play units in general. Like, it's not like we were babysitting him, right? We had him next to LR Bulma because, obviously, this is a... You know, basically their only 200% team is Dragon Ball Saga. And, I mean, Bulma is their best link partner, aside from Jackie Chun or Demon King Piccolo, who Demon King Piccolo still needs a lot of work. Jackie Chun doesn't really work staying on rotation, um, especially if you're going to have him slot two. Like, there's no, there's no one to be slot one if you're running it that way, right? So... Bulma's really the main option there for the main link partner. You could use things like DKP or Jackie Chun to fill in the gaps in the third slot, which we kind of did, but then, you know, that came at the cost of support. And honestly, gaining the support over the extra link or two that he gets is probably better. And as we can see, I mean, in terms of attack, for a 55% level 1 links uh, free-to-play unit, that's pretty good. Um, seven to nine million is what we were seeing. Nine million at the best possible turn we could have had. Seven million on average. They do seem like AGL is probably the preferred way to go. At no point did they actually change tech key spheres for us in this one, so we weren't really able to test them with the tech. But the it, it's a seventy percent defense to a hundred percent defense, right? Um, so. It's not going to be that big of a difference. Um, you know, that's only a 30% variation. So, at most, you know, he'll go from, like, if he's at 240k pre-super, right? At most, he'll probably jump up to 260k, right? Like, it's not going to be a huge difference there um, in terms of his initial defense. So, it, it, you know, he, he's all right. I wouldn't take him into runs expecting him to no item fusion zamas or do any carrying for you but for the db saga team which is pretty stacked um at least during uh global's current content they're pretty good all right and they're only going to get better as we get duped so i mean personally if you're one to do that world tournament grind as long as you do your 23 million in the upcoming world tournaments that he's featured you'll Find yourself in a place at least high enough to get uh, the LR Pilaf trio. You don't have to go too hard to place high enough. And it's definitely worth it, as we can see here. So, guys, that's it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know what are your thoughts thoughts on the LR Pilaf trio. They're fun. I love them. I can't wait to get more dupes of them. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.